In this video, I'm gonna be going over the best settings in Madden 25 for the regs team. I do think the Jets are still the best regs team in the game as far as playbooks go. I think currently the Bears offensive playbook is pretty much top tier. Um, there's some good playbooks here, but in general, I do like the Bears. Uh, we do have an ebook on that on our school community. Defensive playbook is the Jets. I think that that's pretty solid because it's dollar and double mug. If you want a little bit more versatility, you could go Vikings or multiple defense. We have ebooks on all of that in our school community. For difficulty here, we play on all Madden, competitive game mode. Uh, quarter length, kind of up to you. The biggest thing I want to hit on here is coin toss first choice. Make sure that this is on kick. It's one of the biggest pieces of advice that I have for anyone new. It instantly helps you get better just by having this on kick because you can manage the end of half scenario significantly better. Coin toss second choice is going to be with win. Kick meter style, classic Madden meter. Tap and tap for the passing settings. Uh, pretty much clear cut placement and accuracy with pass lead increase on none as of right now. And the reticle speed being 15 out of 20 seems to be kind of the clear cut best way to set up your freeform settings. Hit stick mechanics, um, I'm gonna put these on user only. And then gameplay helpers, these are the keys. Auto flip defensive play call. You wanna leave this on in your settings. You can turn this on or off in your coaching adjustments. Defensive ball hawk on, heat seeker assist, turn this on and turn this to 100%. This is the key one here, switch stick delay. Make sure that this is on slight and make sure that defensive switch assist is turned on. This will allow you to switch stick, I think, with the least amount of least amount of issues and also the best chance that you're actually going to be able to make plays on the ball. Uh, for cross play, you can turn this on or off. It's up to you. Uh, but the one I did want to kind of go over, I think it's an accessibility. Let me see here. Force, force off motion blur. Basically, you don't want, you want to do, so yes, regardless of graphic settings, disallow the motion blur. You don't want the motion blur um, allowed. I don't know, that might be in visual feedback. I think it is in visual feedback here. You go down here to accessibility, and I don't know where it is, but basically you want to make sure that that, motion blur is disabled it must be in graphics um, and then for perform performance mode we're going to favor uh, resolution and then that's pretty much it for the settings again I, I don't know where that motion blur maybe that was basically it there uh, but in general you want to make sure that motion blur is disabled and then also let's talk about one other quick thing if you play ultimate team make sure that or i think this is in franchise mode too Make sure that you go into the mode that you're playing, whatever it is, whether it's play now, ultimate team, whatever, and just make sure that you have your settings. So you see your game options, Let me show you that. So you have game options here, and then you can basically just double check and make sure that your settings are uh, what, what I just showed you. Make sure they're in the game mode that you're in, and then you should be good to go. So again, the biggest thing here is switch stick delay on slight and then my freeform settings. I think those are the biggest keys that are kind of changed from time to time, but also ball hawk, make sure this is on. These are the best settings in Madden 25. If you're looking to take your Madden game to the next level, make sure that you join our school community. It's only 10 bucks. Get you access to all of my full offensive and defensive eBooks. If you guys want to sign up, the link is in the description down below.